Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello students, welcome back to English lessons with Miss Icha. Today I'm going to take you on virtual school tour. What is it? Check this out. These are activities that we are going to do in this lesson. First, we are going to have a virtual tour about what our school is like. Second, we are going to learn about a description text about our school. From the description text, later on, we are going to learn about two grammar focuses. First one is describing things using there is and there are. Second one is about preposition of place. Now, let's begin our lesson. It's been three months since you came to our school. We haven't been in person at school. I wonder if you still remember what our school's like since the last time you visit or see our school from photos or videos. Now, let me present a virtual school tour for you so that you can feel like studying at school. Let's have a school tour now. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, my name is Nisa Khairunisa and I'm an English teacher at SMP Hikmat Ladan. Today, I want to take you on a virtual tour of our school. SMP Hikmat Ladan is located in Cilember, Bandung. To reach our school, you need to walk through a small street from the gate. When you arrive at the parking lot, you can find the main building. There's a reception room where administration staff can help you with school administration. On the first floor, there are three classrooms. It used to be classrooms for grade 7. At the edge of the hall, you will arrive at the mosque. Male students and teachers usually do prayer here together. In front of the main building, there's another building which have many rooms with different functions. There's a kitchen at the corner of the building. Next, we can find life skill room. It is a space for students to learn hard skill and soft skill. Beside life skill room, there is also inclusion room. This is where special needs students and their tutors learn and have counseling. When you're hungry, there's a small canteen which is full of students at recess time. Some students will go to library when canteen is too crowded. Our school infirmary is in the library, and there is a librarian who can also nurse you when you are sick. Going upstairs, we will arrive at principal's room. In front of the principal's room, there is a computer laboratory where you can study using computer or do assignments. We also usually have CBT examination here. On the opposite of computer lab, there is toilet where female students perform wudu before prayer. At the left of computer lab, we can find multifunctional room. On community day, some students practice traditional dance in this room. On the third floor, there is school hall. Usually, female students do prayer in the hall. Besides, we often hold regular school activity here.
Across from the hall, we will move to the highest floor on the main building. On the third floor, there are three classrooms where nine graders usually study. There is a science laboratory at the corner. Students are always enthusiastic studying biology or physics in the lab. Last year, 9th graders practiced making yogurt in this lab and it was yummy. This is the end of our virtual tour. I hope this pandemic ends soon and we can study and do many activities at school. See you soon at school! How was the school tour? Did you enjoy the video? Or are you confused what I was talking about in the video? If you're confused, now we are going to move to the next lesson. We are going to see the description text from the video before. Here is the text. What do you see on the text? I put some markers on the text. Can you guess what are their functions? Let's take a look to the first paragraph. SMP Hikmat Ladan is located in Cilember, Bandung. To reach our school, you need to walk through a small street from the gate. When you arrive at the parking lot, you can find the main building. There's a reception room, where administration staff can help you with school administration. On the first floor, there are three classrooms. It used to be classrooms for grade 7. At the edge of the hall, you will arrive at the mosque. Male students and teachers usually do prayer here. In this paragraph, I put two markers on several parts of sentences. The first one is, there's a reception room. And, there are three classrooms. The next marker is on the first floor. Can you guess what we are going to learn from this text? If you see in the second paragraph, we use the same pattern to describe parts of the school. For example, there is another building and there is a kitchen at the corner of the building. We can see the same pattern from paragraph 3 to the last paragraph. I guess now you know what we are going to learn in this grammar focus. Exactly! We are going to learn how to describe things using there is and there are. There is or there are. We use there is and there are when we first refer to the existence or presence of someone or something. For example, there is a science laboratory on the third floor. It means that we have science laboratory which is located on the third floor. The second one, there are nine classrooms on the main building. It means we can find nine classrooms in this building. Can you see the difference between there is and there are? There's or theirs are both singular forms. We use theirs more commonly in informal speaking. For example, there's a canteen on the second building and it is usually full of students at recess time. Second example, our school infirmary is in the library and there's a librarian who can also nurse you when you're sick. It means in the second example, we can use in informal speaking. Next, there are is the plural form of there is and theirs. For example, 
There are two buildings in our school. Besides learning how to describe things using there is and there are, we also learn how to describe position of something or someone. In this lesson, we are going to learn preposition of place. Here, we are going to focus on three prepositions of place. In, on, and at. First one, the use of in. This preposition is used first to talk about locations within a larger area. For example, I know my book is somewhere in this room. Can you say it? Second, it is used to talk about workplaces when we see them as a physical location. For example, she works in an open plan office. Next, the use of on. We have four functions of this preposition. First, to refer to a position on any surface. For example, I put my painting on the wall. On refers to the surface of the wall. Second, to describe a position of a road or river or by the sea or by the lake. Second example, she takes her dog walking on the path. Third, to talk about the floor in a building. Third example, on the third floor, we can find a school hall. The last one, to talk about being physically on public transport. For example, I was on the bus when you called me. The last preposition we are going to discuss is the use of at. It has more functions than the other two prepositions. The first one, it is used to refer to a position or location which we see as a point. For example, I was sitting at my desk. Second, to talk about locations at companies or workplaces when we see them as a place of activity. For example, how many people are working at Microsoft? Next, to refer to activities which involve a group of people. For example, were you at Lisa's party? One of special functions of this preposition is to attach with school, college, and university. Next, to refer to an address. For example, they once lived at number 12 South George's Street. The last one is to talk about public places where we get treatments. For example, I'll be at the hairdressers until 5. Those are the use of prepositions which refers to places. Remember, if we describe some places, we need to use preposition of places to refer the location of something or someone. This is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you can understand the use of preposition of places and describing words like there is and there are. Thanks for watching. See you on the next class. Goodbye.